In the upcoming years in Russia, we see really key market technologies and increases really in the integration section. So integrating with other technologies and also integrating with, uh, with for example, lighting systems or in other opportunities. Of course, also, it's all about getting the data processing done. So the data processing and using all the data which is available, for example, by video systems to get that data processed and use that data as key information, so as statistical data as well. But yeah, you can also simply, as soon as you have uh, a lot of people in front of a certain camera on the street section, yeah, you can increase the light level, but as the people are gone, you can decrease the light level as well. So these kind of evolvements and studies we see really that will make differentiations in the upcoming years. Yeah, well, obviously the IT trends and technologies are on the storage side one, so uh, you can build uh, really complete systems already with the storage size which will be available by that given time and moment. So because storage size is so incre incredibly increasing, of course also the bandwidth and uh, talking about the new latest and greatest telecom bandwidth which are available. Uh, so yeah, this is all evolving really fast and will also help with the adaptation of the video solutions because video solutions are very bandwidth hungry. And that is still what we see as, as which is uh, limiting ourselves. So we see all kinds of challenges still there. So IT technologies will evolve uh, much really quick now currently, and this will help also with our adaptation level. The market drivers, of course, is um, yeah, that, that the market driver is the, the, the need for quality. So the actual need to have a decent, uh, high quality product, uh, which is available also. And then talking about quality, also about the quality of the actual output of this product, which in our, a video camera is, of course, a high quality video stream. And that is really helping, uh, helping the market and also helping, for example, Bosch to, uh, to do some good business there. Yeah, the, the restraints in, in a certain element are yeah, the different uh, local needs which are, uh, which are there. So some markets, and if you map, for example, and compare the Russian market to the Middle East market, there are definitely some, uh, some differences there. And uh, yeah, that, that, that limits us as well. Also, on the, for example, on the language part. So every product of us needs to have the local language over the whole of Europe, which is also a very, uh, very difficult exercise from time to time. Of course, the IP infrastructure nowadays is the key basis of everything. It's the roads and the network which we, uh, which we are using. Um, the, uh, the influence is, of course, major. And one example is, of course, IPv6. Nowadays, and uh, this is also in the US, that every government project needs to have IPv6 uh, support on the product side. So that means all the products throughout the chain need to be uh, having this latest and greatest IPv6 technology on board. And this is also something which we see really as one of the, one of the key drivers and one of the examples of what the IT actually does for us. So a lot of IT technologies, of course, uh, give a certain opportunity to do a new, uh, a new vertical, a new product or whatsoever. So we see really opportunities. The challenges or the impacts, you say? So the, the, the challenges are, uh, in fact, yeah, related that actually you have this involvement of this IT equipment, which goes so incredibly fast. So buying a simple computer today has, will mean that this thing from the first day you buy it will already lose its value uh, up to a high level of percentage. So that means that, yeah, the, the industry goes so incredibly quick and also the processes which are available currently and the chips which are available currently are moving, let's say, to a less performing rate so incredibly quick that the, the industry is evolving but also it's therefore slowing it down because as soon as you invest it in a very nice system and you want to expand cameras, then it's a question whether you can do that still in a, in a time frame of three years because the technology changed. There are new technologies already in place and the technologies which are replacing the previous ones not necessarily need to be backwards compatible. So the backwards compatibility is hurting sometimes. And that is, that is, that is a bit of a painful story. Yeah, the all over IP has, uh, has been a great experience till now. 
Um, I really like the, let's say, the compactness of the whole exhibition. So it's really compact. All the major vendors are here. So you don't have major halls and big booths, but it's really efficient, an efficient setup, which I really like and love. So it's been a good experience for now.